Hey everybody, it's Daddy1424, and we're back with another PS Vita blog. Today is a full, in-depth look at Unit 13 and review and gameplay footage. So first, we're going to look at the different modes. We have talked about it before. I did do an earlier video on Unit 13, which was the demo version. This is the full version. No demo, so we have access to everything. So we have solo missions, online cooperative play, high-value targets, and daily challenges. Your daily challenges consist of a challenge that's given to you each day, and you essentially have one opportunity to try and beat it. Um, and if you can't beat it, then, I mean, you, you post a high score or you don't or you post a score or whatever the case may be. High value targets, once you've played different missions, you'll get stars ranging from 1 to 5. And once you get those stars, then you'll have an opportunity to play these high value targets, which you'll get trophies for and whatnot. So unlocks of 20 stars, 40 stars, so forth and so on. Here you have your online cooperative play where you can play with a friend of yours. I currently do not have access to it as I did not have the online code um, as this is a rental copy. Here we have the solo missions and up here, which this would be essentially your single player campaign, and up here we have our leveling system. So currently I'm level 21 and your notification bar which will tell you some of the different things that you've achieved and unlocked and whatnot. Down here you have your high score bar, your leaderboard. We'll just pull away from that and then you have your settings button and that's pretty much it where you can put inverted controls or standard and whatnot now the we'll talk a little bit about the game in a second uh, we have talked about it before briefly I will reiterate some of the points so I do apologize uh, but I'll try and also touch upon some new ones so we're gonna be taking a look at this mission, mission here which is a stealth mission I've already played this mission through now again I did actually get further in the game than I currently am uh, but I had an issue where the game actually froze Sorry, give me a second. I had to turn that down. I had an issue where the game actually froze and I had to actually power it down, delete the file, and reinstall it. And because of that, I lost my save information as well, so I had to restart the entire game. And it was a little bit frustrating. Anyway, so here we are loading up Unit 13. Uh, I had an argument with a friend of mine. We were talking about the graphics of the game, and you know, he was saying to me, oh, it's, it's high-end PS2, and I was saying, no, it's low-end PS3. Um, well, you know, honestly, I still stick by stand by the fact that I do believe it is a low-end PS3 game. Some of the texture mappings in the background show that it's not quite up to PS3 the snuff, uh, but the character models are really good. One of my favorite things about the game is just how flawlessly the gameplay works. Uh, your aiming mechanisms, there's really no lag, um, and it just seems to just operate and function really smoothly. And this is what I really wanted to see in a first-person shooter. Now, if this is any indication of anything to come in games like Resistance Burning Skies, I really, really have some high hopes for this system. Uh, hopefully in time, we'll see more and more improved graphics, and we have talked about that in the past as well, but only time can really truly tell. So let's just try and keep it all stealthy here, see if we can take this guy out. Nice headshot, see? Precision, accuracy, to a T. So the game, uh, guys, you know, a lot of people have been asking, well, do I want to buy it, do I want to rent it? Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and say to you guys that I do think it is beneficial for you to rent it if you can. I do think it's a phenomenal game. Uh, Storyline is not quite as focused as a lot of the games are. Oh, almost got spotted there. Go. Let's just take this guy's out here. Double knife slice. All right, there we go. So now we got to go get the objective. Um, the storyline is not as focused as uh, a lot of games are. Um, it is pretty uh, vague and sporadic. Uh, as you play missions, you're essentially part of a Navy SEALs team, and you're deployed to different missions, and each mission has different objectives and somewhat of a different storyline involved in it. Um, it doesn't seem that there's a very, you know, one main derivative storyline plot. But again, I haven't beaten the game yet, so I don't know if that, you know, un unveils uh, further in the game. But again, I always believe that with games that are, are very heavily uh, story-based, that should be off the get-go. Um, now, again, uh, each mission runs you about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and that does provide, so a pretty good depth, this is about 30 missions. So do that times 15 or 20, and you have a pretty long game or a pretty solid game. Um, now guys, uh, like I said, this is a, a really good game and I do recommend it for a rental. The only reason why I don't jump to the conclusion of saying get a purchase is because at the end of the day, um, it doesn't have things like, you know, multiplayer deathmatch and I really feel like that's lacking that. If it would have had it, it would have added some replay value, but because it only has your standard missions and each mission running you at about 15 to 20 minutes, 
I like games when I'm looking for a purchase. I want a game that essentially you're going to be able to play again a second time and a third time through. And that to me is a game that the experience is going to be different each time. Now you can, it can be argued that you can do the here because you can approach levels differently. You can go in guns blazing. You can go in stealth. It really all depends on your style of play. And I do appreciate that, but I feel that the replay value is not phenomenal. And that's again why I'm coming back to saying you guys, if you can rent it, rent it. At the same token, if you don't have a rental service that rents out uh, Vita games, I would say this is not a title you want to miss. You definitely want to have an opportunity to play this. So if your only option is purchase, I would say yes, you should purchase it because it is a phenomenal game, and I don't want you guys to miss this. You know, miss the opportunity. It's a great evolution of the PS Vita. It's still very young, but I think if this is any indication of where we're going to be headed uh, with the Vita, there's a lot of good things to look forward to. Um, you know, gameplay, great. Graphics are great. Um, we talked about the different modes a little bit. I'm going to show you a little bit what the daily challenge is like. Once we're done that, we're going to cap it off. Now, guys, um, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Keep, you know, make these video videos possible that I can keep putting them out for you guys. Um, we're going to be hitting a dry spell soon. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of Vita games coming out until about May. I believe the next uh, big games we're going to be seeing are games like Gravity Rush, um, or Gravity Days, I'm not sure what they're calling it in Canada. I know in Japan it had a different name. Uh, and then other than that, um, we're looking at games like uh, Resistance Burning Skies. So there are going to be some games coming, but again, that won't be until late May. That being said, guys, I really want to know what you want to see from me. I'm by default going to transition into some PS3 and Xbox 360 titles. Um, the next title that I'm thinking of doing, and you may not see it until about Wednesday or Thursday, is going to be... Sorry, guys, getting distracted there for a second. The next set that I'm going to be doing is Silent Hill Downpour. Uh, so I hope you guys are, are you know, going to look forward to that, watching that movie. After that, we'll try and follow up with some Ninja Gaiden. Uh, all in all, though, guys, is, uh, I'm playing the Daily Challenge here. Uh, I hope you guys have liked this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Do you want to see some tablets, uh, some applications? We can talk about the iPad 3 that was recently unveiled. Um, so, you know, I hope you guys uh, continue to support me and make this possible. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to put this down, and I want to say to you all, this has been Daddy1424, and like usual, everybody, peace, love.